just wanted to briefly touch upon uh, the Primetime Emmy Award nominations, which were just announced within this week, um, and there were some notable surprises. Let me start off with the non-comic book stuff. MJ Rodriguez uh, became the first transgender woman to be recognized by the various academies involved in the voting process for her performance in the final season of Pose on FX. She is in the lead actress drama category. This is a massive deal and a giant step forward. Not necessarily a guarantee that she will win, but it truly is an honor to be nominated in this category, and absolute congratulations to you, MJ. Hamilton racked up 12 nominations for a stage musical that was filmed in 2016. Seven of them for acting. What? It's obviously a remarkable piece of art that we've certainly talked about here at Knights of the Dirty Table before. You can go back and find those previous clips. But it's just so baffling. Lin-Manuel got one. Leslie Odom got one. Uh, Philippe Passu, like Anthony Ramos, like uh, David Diggs, um, Renee Lee Goldsberry, and it's still up for even uh, outstanding variety programs. So, like, just way to this is what streaming is meant to do like still make money on things that are incredibly old that is that's the point of streaming so lynn you're a winner in our book and marvel studios has finally gotten proper award recognition for their work and their mark on the entertainment industry as a whole we'll start with don Cheadle and how i personally think they didn't quite get this one right Huge shout out to Don Cheadle. We absolutely loved him. He's a great war machine. He's had many other great uh, characters on screen and television and film. We love him as an actor. I don't think they quite got the guest actor nomination for Falcon and Winter Soldier right. I think it should have gone to Carl Lumbly, who played Isaiah Bradley, the uh, hidden black super soldier. Um, his sequence with um, Falcon... When, when they're in Isaiah's apartment together, uh, that's the heart of the series. That's what the whole show is about, and I think it's an incredibly beautiful moment. And while it's nice that Don Cheadle was able to get award recognition for 90 seconds on screen total, uh, I think they got this one wrong. So it's kind of a, a love-hate situation in this case. Happy for Don Cheadle, but uh, Carl Lumbly should have gotten the recognition because his performance was incredibly outstanding. That all aside, WandaVision is the big winner in this case, for being nominated as much as it is. It has gotten outstanding actor nominations for Paul Bettany, Elizabeth Olsen, and Katherine Hahn, as well as outstanding limited series. It's a big... It, I, let me backtrack. Yes, it was a big win when Black Panther won at the Oscars for Best Production Design and Best Costumes and Best Original Score, and the fact that it was up for Best Picture is truly an achievement. And they were the first... Oscars that Marvel Studios has gotten, but none of the 23 movies, 24 now, have gotten acting recognition at the Oscars, which I get. Some performances are stronger than others, but I think many of us definitely believe that there was a strong enough case for Robert Downey Jr. or Michael B. Jordan to be nominated for at least Best Supporting Actor for Endgame and Black Panther, respectively. Something, some recognition of, hey, you guys did good. Good job. You know, something. But now we're finally getting the proper recognition. We live in a world where Scarlet Witch, Vision, and even War Machine have all been nominated in major acting categories over Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider-Man. Spider-Man's been around for a very long time, folks, in multiple franchise universes. I'm treating this as a big victory simply for the fact that I've been told as an actor that superhero movies aren't real acting. And as a kid, that heroes in general are just kind of childish and that in some ways I need to grow up. This is a win for the fact that they were all wrong. Just, you know, it took a while for me to prove that I was right, but we're finally at this point now. So I'll, I'll take my victory, you know, where I can. None of this is kid stuff. I know I'm repeating myself here, but this stuff drives the world of entertainment. It drives film, it drives TV, and it even drives music depending on the specific film. Again, Black Panther comes to mind with Kendrick's album. The Oscars, they whiff on many things, but they definitely whiffed on not acknowledging Marvel Studios as a whole with even just getting to Endgame and their line of success for 10 years, like not even a special merit award for, hey, Marvel Studios, you've had nothing but bangers at the box office. Let's just say, hey, good job. Nothing, absolutely nothing. This, with the Emmy Awards, fixes that. I'll absolutely be Team Marvel 
uh, the night of the Emmys, rocking as much gear as I can, almost like watching the Patriots in the Super Bowl, so it's kind of exciting in that way. Uh, and it's truly one of those times where I can say that it is, in fact, an honor to be nominated. It's an absolute true statement. It's just nice that I can finally say it and have it be about my favorite performances that I've seen within said voting year. So this is a good win for Marvel Studios. Congratulations to all. This is a giant step in the right direction. Whoa. Welcome to the end of the Knights of the Dirty Table video that you just watched. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like our video, share with all your friends, and catch our live stream every Friday live at 5 only on the Zen Den Studios Twitch channel. I gotta go wander off into space. See ya! Whoa! Whoa!